Bob Weeks joins us now. Bob, it was a pretty close call for Adam Hadwin, losing on the first extra hole to Ricky Fowler. So what would you say was the difference for Hadwin? Well, when you look, when you lose in a playoff, you know, you could look at one shot anywhere along the 72 holes that could have made the difference. But I would say on Sunday, the theme really was that he didn't put the ball in the fairway quite as much as he did the first three rounds. And by that, you know, when you're in this long, wet rough at the Detroit Country Club, it was wet and raining during the day. It was wet and raining basically most of the week. So it was really hard to get aggressive coming out of there. And you had to play to the fat of the green. Adam did a great job, but it's just really one shot, one putt, one swing somewhere along the line that he'll look back at and say, that could have been the difference. Okay, so it's not a win, but what does this performance say about Hadwin and also, Bob, about the strength of Canadian men's golf at the moment? Well, for Adam Hadwin, this is really telling him that the swing changes he made about three years ago were the right path for him to go on. When he'd made those changes, they did not take right away, and he was in some pretty dark days, and his game really bottomed out to the point where he was fighting to keep his card. Now he's out there at the point where he's looking to win tournaments and coming very, very close as he did on Sunday. And I think for men's Canadian men's golf, it's never been as deep. It's never been as good. You look at the four players who won, and you can go even beyond that for this year. You can look at Taylor Pendrith, who was in the last group, along with Adam Hadwin and Ricky Fowler. Any week on the PGA Tour, there's now a Canadian, it seems, challenging for the title, or two, or three of them. This is a really, really golden age for Canadian men's golf right now. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to see those Canadian faces on the broadcasts. And Hadwin would have been the fifth different Canadian to win on tour this year. Bob, thanks so much for joining us. And if Adam wasn't going to win, well, Ricky's a pretty good guy to come out victorious on Sunday. It's been four years, four months, 29 days since Fowler's last victory in 2019, snapping the longest drought of his tour career. As you can see, that equates to over 1,600 days. And Fowler has now finished tied for 17th or better in 10 of his last 11 starts on the PGA Tour.